Hello Leo, welcome to your weekly reading for June 3rd to the 11th. This is for Leo, Sun, and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity to get more specific and detailed with your reading. Leo, I do this because I love you. I want you to feel like it's a personal reading as if we're here one-on-one -on -one, rather than a general spread. I want you to feel like you're just sitting here with me, talking to me like we're on a couch, drinking, sodas, iced tea, whatever it is. Also, Leo, I use astrology because it brings a lot more depth to your reading. So this week, wow, very, very fiery, very fiery. Now, first things I got to mention is that if you have not seen your monthly reading, this is, I mean, it was one of your best monthly reading. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I said Jan was gonna be gangbusters. A lot of people are like, what's gangbusters? It's, it's, it's just a lot of success. <laughs> All right, a lot of success for almost every, I mean, just what's happening astrologically, June is going, is, it's, it's one of the best months um, where things start slowing down, okay? After, after, you know, come July, but you know, uh, the first things first, I, you know, normally this would be like uh, the weekly reading would be June 5th through the 11th, but I'm including June 3rd because we got to talk about that full moon in Sagittarius. Now, Leo, that full moon in Sagittarius that's happening on Saturday is actually going to be in your fifth house, which is very interesting. And this is going to be really important for you. This is, I believe, going to be a very significant week for you, uh, if not this week, uh, you know, uh, uh, the next few weeks. OK, and the reason I say that is because. Uh, the full moon in Sagittarius is in the in your fifth house. You're the native ruler of the fifth house, all right? So uh, that is all about pleasure. It's all about love, romance, uh, creativity, self-expression. It's the house of having fun. It's, you know, it's, it's in the full moon in Sagittarius. A lot of different aspects happening that day. The one thing that I really want you to take away from this is that around this full moon in Sagittarius, you just may have this moment of clarity. You may have this moment of clarity on what you've been lacking or what you just what doesn't bring you pleasure anymore what doesn't you know fill you with joy the way that it used to okay and it's about just you know maybe just letting something like that go but uh it could honestly be uh you know it could be a friendship it could be like you know just a passion of yours that you've been doing for a while and now all this new stuff is coming into your life and so it's it's not i don't think it's going to be anything like really intense but what makes this intense is that two days after that venus goes into your sign and so on the fifth which Ven we already know mars is in your sign and so venus is now joining mars so venus and mars are in your sign uh up until july okay up until july so this is already crazy because that's your first house this is you this is your identity so you may be going through a lot of changes a lot of changes really fired up but in a great way in a really good way very fiery placement again i, I talk more about this in my uh june readings but it's you know they're in your sign okay so things are gonna get really like you're gonna get fired up about some of your passions uh could be a little too fiery too there could be some uh moments where just like like hearts are blazing nothing can stop me now but uh like running past uh like still you still need to be grounded when when you're going after your passions type energy because it's fiery so leo uh the last thing that i'm going to mention is that mercury does go into Gemini on the 11th and uh, we'll talk more about that next uh, uh, next next week uh, because it's really shaping what's to come next week but Mercury is in uh, it's uh, you know the ruling planet for Gemini so it's in its domicile it's a lot of uh, mental stimulation there's I mean honestly like you're gonna be a blazing this month you're gonna be a blazing this month and I really love that for you so let's go ahead and get started Leo let's see what's going on for you for this week for uh, June 3rd to the 11th again this is for Leo Sun and Rising and if you want to read for your Venus your Mar uh, your moon for any of those other placements you are absolutely welcome to if you know your birth chart definitely if you want more clarity in those areas of your life go for it do it um but let's get started see what's going on for you leo now i am already already uh let's you know what let me say my line what is my line uh so i do a traditional cultic cross spread it's uh it is uh brings uh the best overview 
I can you tell that I already I'm already like shook that the fact you got the magician in the heart of your spread. Let's just let's uh, okay. That's the elephants out of the room now. Okay, so I do a traditional Celtic cross spread. If we need to pull clarifiers, we will pull clarifiers. Secondly, Leo, I love y'all. Y'all are amazing. Y'all brighten my day. You really do. I love Leos. Oh my goodness. Um, let's let's get started. Okay, so this is going to be a week. This is going to be a week. If you saw my monthly reading, actually, if you saw my May reading, you know Jupiter moved into Taurus in your 10th house. So you are going to, career is going to be a big focus for you for the next year. And you're going to have the most luck in that area. Not only career, but just, you know, 10th house is fame. It's public recognition. It's honors. It's achievements. It's all of that. It's great. It's fantastic, especially if you are here for career. Okay, now looking at your spread there's a lot going on this week okay there's a lot going on um you did get the three of swords uh the energy that i'm getting from this is more like leo uh when i said that full moon is sagittarius full moons are all about closure and you know uh, full moons again i've made the analogy any of these powerful aspects uh they're just a marker in time okay so like i said Think about like if you were cooking soup at your kitchen stove, right? You turn on the burner. There's energy. You know, the soup boils. That's the day of the the, the aspect. You turn off the burner. There's still energy. So some of y'all could have been feeling it this past week. Some of y'all will be feeling it for like a week, weeks to come. Uh, it, you know, every, depends on your birth chart or whatnot. But you did get the three of swords in your past. All right. So again, the energy i'm getting is that there's something around this full moon in sagittarius where there's a sense of something that you're gonna let go or have to let go or something is going to leave you okay and there's a little bit of heartbreak with that and always a little bit of heartbreak with those kind of moments okay and you know it's not always a bad thing especially looking at your entire spread here there's yeah, it, a lot of y'all are moving into new careers for sure. A lot of y'all are moving into new places in your life as, you know, affirmed with your monthly reading. But this is absolutely, uh, again, in your past with this week, again, it, tend, it really depends on what day you're watching this reading where it's going to resonate, but it came up in your past. So there could be something that you're moving on from. Again, that full moon in Sagittarius is going to be uh, pretty profound. Uh, it's not going to affect you as much as the mutable, as much as uh, the uh, mutable signs, but even still, it's it's you are a fellow fire sign. Uh, but there could be something uh, again, something that you're letting go. And again, it's remember this is in your fifth house of pleasure, something that used to bring you joy. Okay, something that uh, you just feel like I'm I, you're disconnected with it. I'm not vibing with this anymore. It could be a friend. It could be you know, especially with you know the sun in Gemini right now, right in your eleventh house your social network okay it could be something that you thought that you really wanted to do and it wasn't exactly what you wanted it could be a neighbor moving away it could be uh just you know what resonates with you ask yourself what resonates with you all right but it's in your past so that's a good thing because you looking at your spread it seems like this is something that you will be learning from and you're going to be growing from okay and again when a lot of people you know when this comes up it really it's it's just a card right it's just a card it's the energy that i get from the card and how the entire spread plays out so again i think it's just something that you're going to actually uh le like say goodbye right it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday is a song that you may know if 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 you are if you are not gen z now you got the magician in the heart of your spread. Boom. Do you see what's happening here? So this one thing, letting it go to manifest something entirely new that's meant for you, okay? The magician, we're kicking off the hero's journey, the fool's journey, your journey, your next journey, huge, big journey this week, okay? You have the power to manifest whatever you want 
Leo. This came up in the heart of your spread. I have not seen the magician in the heart of the spread in a really long time. Uh, you see his hand to the sky, hand to the ground, as above, so below. You see the infinity symbol over his head. Only one of two people in all of tarot who have that. You're protected, completely protected on this new journey. This is infinite possibilities, unlimited potential. You even see secretly hidden his belt. It's the sign of the Ouroboros, all right? Very old, old alchemical symbol that's endured the test of time for thousands i mean like it's in cave drawings that's how old it is and it's the unity of all things it's life cycles this is a life cycle that you're going through this week but again you see he has all tools of the tarot at his disposal all right he has the cups the pentacles the swords the wands where do you want to direct that energy leo it's you've got the power okay the magician is all about action though so you have to take that action i honestly don't even have to tell you that a you're leos you already you got that in the bag b venus and mars are in your sign you're good <laughs> you're absolutely good leo but i love the fact that you got the magician in the heart of your spread this is uh uh really amazing and when i say uh, this occurred in of, of action uh as I mentioned, hand to the sky, hand to the ground, I want you to pay attention to the hand to the ground, okay? Because you quite possibly know what you want to manifest. You possibly know what your dreams are, what what you your path to enlightenment and the things that you want. Bring them into your reality now, okay? You have that power. You have that power this week. Now, you do have the four of pentacles in your challenge area, okay? I'm just going to ask you right now, Leo, don't be so serious this week, okay? Don't be so serious this week. I want you to just have fun. I want you to have fun this week. That full moon in Sagittarius, yeah, you're going to lose something that probably brought you pleasure. And when I say lose, it could be of, on your own accord. You taking that stand to say like, you know what? I'm not into Nintendo anymore. I'm just going to, I'm going to be a gardener now. Do you know what I mean? Like there's going to be some sort of uh, change, but I know that was the worst analogy, but hey, this is the, that's the, what came out. Um, four pentacles in your challenge area. This is all about structure, stability. A lot of y'all may feel a little bit unstable because of this, the three of swords coming right before the magician. This is a major transition. This is a major transition. So you could feel a little bit wobbly. I wouldn't worry about it, okay? Because you're, you've got the magician. Okay, you've got the magician. I haven't even gotten to what's in the rootier spread. Uh, so some of y'all may feel because four is all about order. It's all about stability. This is a you know, um, and financially for a lot of y'all. Okay, money could be a thing. I'm not gonna lie. For some of y'all this week, uh, it may be on your mind. Uh, one thing that I want you to know is that when I said earlier, I want you to have fun. I want you to have fun. I don't want you to be too serious. I don't want you to, you can see, especially when it comes to finances, but pentacles are earthbound. So your physical reality. So this, you know, while it does represent money and, 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 and wealth and finances, which is going to resonate for a lot of Leos, for other Leos, it could just be in your physical reality because of what's happening, this big change, that this big shift that's happening in your life right now. And so the reason why I say to have fun is because this man is so so like gripping his pentacles so tightly and again it's really of course definitely keep your finances in order be on top of that but not to the point where your feet are off the ground when your feet are on the pentacles like that you're disconnected from earth secondly at this point look at the pentacle on his head his money is owning him he's not owning his money Okay, so I want you to just take this week to just, sure, put things in order, put uh, uh, have some structure in your life. It seems like there's a lot of newness that uh, you have the potential to create. Have that stability, but don't forget that sense of, uh, of fun, okay? Just still have fun with, with what you're doing, all right? Because if you're not having fun with these big passions you want to go after, then it kind of, it, it, it's, it, you want to put your, all your heart into it, okay, Leo? You know, put all your heart into it. And so the last thing I'm going to say is that um, with, uh, uh, with the Four of uh, Pentacles in your challenge area, this could be a week where uh, money is going to be on your mind for sure uh, for a lot of Leos. And the reason I say that, okay, because look, 
You have the Two of Pentacles, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is great. Uh, this, so you see that, remember, the Magician has all four, four, four uh, tools of tarot at his disposal here. He's got all four elements, and you do see the Pentacle. So, all Pentacles here, flanked by two swords. You see what's going ha going on? Let me tell you. You got the two of pentacles in your crown. And so this is saying that there is some big decision that you're making. Not surprised with the magician coming after the three of swords. There's something that you may, uh, again, it's almost like there's this big transition for some of y'all. It may be uh, really, really emotionally impactful. For some of y'all, it's like, can't wait for this to be done i'm just gonna blaze on forward but this is definitely like a lot of imbalance in this card remember you got this the four of pentacles in your uh challenge area and so with imbalance and imbalance find that balance okay have fun don't be too serious i don't want because when you're too serious when you're focused too much on that structure too much on that stability uh you 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 miss all those other things like that spiritual part of your life that you know that you know you're the the people and the people that you love in your life it's just you you want to find that balance okay but clearly you're gonna be uh uh thinking about that balance this week okay and again this is going to be something very new for a lot of Leos, this new direction, uh, especially because, well, one thing I'm going to point out here, not only did you get this symbol of infinity here with your, in the heart of your spread, there you go. You see the two pentacles bound in the sign of infinity with the juggler here. All right. So this is saying he could be doing this his entire life for eternity, just juggling and juggling but leo i don't think you want to do that you're not the type to want to to just juggle you're just like wham bam go let's do it let's do it with that magician i love that but again with the two of pentacles in your crown again there's possibly going to be some decision you have to make this week and something that you just have to do to bring that balance but again i don't want it to be something that's like soul sucking i want you to feel a little bit f have fun this week too all right um it's just just because you have the magician in the heart of your spread have fun with this new passion and what where you want to direct that energy you did get the ten of pentacles in your uh root in the root of your spread which is absolutely amazing i love that you got the ten of pentacles uh this is prosperity this is success this is the you made it card this is your kingdom come a lot of y'all want that a lot of y'all are feeling it a lot of y'all know that this new thing is going to bring it okay so what resonates with you this week leo what resonates with you a lot of this is family uh energy but this uh, legacy energy as well so again career is going to be a big thing for y'all looking at this but there's a lot of uh things going on up here too so there's it's almost like um what's really interesting is the placements that are happening this week are really fiery Right. And especially because you're a fire sign and we have that full moon in Sagittarius with Venus going into uh, uh, Leo. But then uh, you pull the air like two swords, which are air and then all earth here. So it's really interesting. Let's just talk about your future real quick. You got the five of swords. Very, very interesting. OK, um, this three of swords, by the way, is almost like. Um, so remember how i talked about that balance it's bringing that back this card is ruled by libra first of all so uh libra is all about that balance right so this magician energy is really bringing that balance especially because you have that imbalance and then you have the four of pentacles which is all about structure and order but when it's in your challenge area it's like a little mm -mm. uh so there is going to be a sense like that's kind of like the theme this week is like finding that balance between like having fun and not being too serious in terms of letting this thing go making sure that it's it's something that i definitely don't want anymore bringing this new thing in my life but at a good level of like this transition through it now with the five of swords in your future is saying that it's there could be a little bit uh things could get a little bit heated all right remember uh how i said earlier uh Mars in Leo already is like, um, think about Mars. 
right? Mars, the the ruling planet for Aries, the god of war, right? This is so when Mars is in Leo in your sign, where it's all about being proud and confident, and you know just just feeling good and and going after the things and being authoritative, it's a it's it's hot and heavy. Okay, so there could be a moment in the future where things are just a little too much to handle and uh, uh it's why that balance is so important okay the balance is really important uh because this is just saying hey there may be a situation that you come up a a across where it may be a little tempting for you especially with venus and mars in your sign this week a little tempting for you if something like irks you a little bit or uh and it can be something that just happens it can be something that you know a colleague says it can be something that you know a family member does or a lover does or whatnot it could you could just you know like immediately take out your sword like oh, come on what what what's going on here that kind of energy i don't want you to do that i want this card is all about self-respect it's all about self-dignity it's all about choosing your battles wisely like is it worth it is it worth it everyone else has dropped their swords do you need to be holding uh swords like that but the one thing i'm going to mention is that he's not very powerful now you've seen game of thrones hopefully you've seen if not any of those shows like last kingdom whatever mm, that's how you hold a sword that is power that's authority that's not so it's almost saying what's happening here something is gonna end it could be a little bittersweet it could be a little bit hard it worked and for some leos it could be like thank goodness I've learned that I don't want that anymore, okay? Starting this new journey, bringing this balance into your life, try to do it in a balanceful way because things are really fiery this week for y'all. There could be something that eventually that uh, you may be, uh, that could happen where you feel on guard, but again, ask yourself, is this even worth my time? I have... I have Venus in my sign. I have Jupiter in my 10th house. I have uh, so many, you know, Pluto and Aquarius in my 7th. Like, ask yourself, is it worth my time? Because if you drop those swords, then, clarified, you're good. Queen of Wands, you're good. Power to attract. Uh, the Mitchin has the power to manifest anything he wants. Queen of Wands has the power to attract anything she wants. She's the most popular queen. She is the most uh, uh, regal, the most dynamic, the most charismatic. When someone is that popular and charismatic and regal, and I always make the reference, like think about Nicole Kidman or, you know, uh, Julia Roberts or Rihanna, whoever, walking into a room, they can get whatever they want. They can get anything they want, just like the Queen of Wands here. Now you do see that she's holding that sunflower as well, which has the full powers of the sun, okay? You're, you'll be good. Just don't, uh, just remember to choose your battles wisely. You are going to get what you want. If, as long as you, you know, work with your karma, always go to like high energy. Okay. There's going to be a point where this Leo, it's going to be a fiery week for you. It's going to be a fiery week for you. So you could be a little like, ah. let's get to your stuff. Leo, you're amazing by the way. And oh my goodness. You're definitely getting what you want. Drop those swords. I can't believe I just said that out loud. I usually say that in my head. So, okay, anyway. Um, if you... Ah, look. <laughs> okay, uh, Leo, if you like this reading, I have to just get through my lines. I always forget them. If you like this reading, it would be so great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. I love hearing from y'all. Um, if you are new to my channel... Uh, no, actually, if you're a subscriber, it would be so great if you like, subscribe, leave comments. I love hearing from you. Did I just say that? I'm so obsessed with just what just happened here. This is like synchro. This is let's let's just get started. I don't even. OK, we're not going to do my lines. You look two of ones. Leo, come on. This is amazing. You got the two. The, OK, so what what's happening here is this week you are definitely moving into a new place. You are definitely planning something. OK, 
and I want you to stick with it. Now, what's really interesting about this, you see that he has the world in his hands, okay? This is, uh, once again, very invigorating, very lively. It's like your passions, ideas, creativity, all of that, all of that, Leo. Uh, even work-related, if you are here for work, again, you're good. Uh, imagine the medieval times. Imagine a battle, okay? You won. You won the battle. Huge battle. You're the victor. Great. You're standing at the highest point in the castle. You got the world in your hands. You just conquer the world. It's almost like, okay, I just won this huge battle. Now what? Now what do I do? <laughs> so it really is like, with this coming up, uh, with the three of swords in your past, definitely something new that you want this was almost like uh faded okay this was faded so don't even look at it as a bad thing um this is really great uh and what's really interesting is the fact that you did get the two of wands as a first card in your stuff indicating yet again there is uh it's whatever you are new that that you want to manifest this week give it some time guess just don't go a blazing with it right away you're gonna get everything you want okay if you go fast and furious like you might uh it's just you might be running too fast okay this is all about taking your time this is all about planning okay for everything to make sense with this new thing coming in that you are going to get and you definitely are going to get it because you've got the nine of cups with the queen of wands this is the card of satisfaction in fact this is really funny this is the first time this card has come out in a long time i was th i thought today am i actually missing it from my deck but here we go that's why i kind of freaked out but um this is the wish come true card so the power to attract you're gonna get what you want you have the full power of the sun here um we're gonna talk about that because you actually pulled the sun all right now the nine of cups there you go this is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing i don't know leo if you know you know that saturn moved into pisces in march in your eighth house okay in your eighth house so a lot of y'all will feel this uh eighth house is all about death and rebirth y'all are going to go through this transformative like next few years and it's going to be really really big um uh eighth house also rules uh other people's money as well other people's resources so a lot of y'all could find out about inheritance you could be uh uh, taking investments more seriously or whatnot uh also like bonuses maybe a thing commissions uh etc but you know with all these pentacles i'm not surprised now cubs emotions love it's all like they're aligned over his head that's a lot of enlightenment look how satisfied he is this is a card like i said of satisfaction of a wish coming true i say this is the genie in a bottle card okay this is your the fact that you got the magician with the queen of wands next to the knight of cups is huge it's massive and the reason why i brought up saturn and pisces is because this is jupiter and pisces um so uh very nice nicely done well well played leo well played uh what's really interesting here is um gosh there's just so much happening there's so much happening here okay um just if you feel that urge to just like uh oh gosh it's just really just like don't wield if you're gonna wield your sword wield it in a way as a power of good okay that's all i'm gonna say all right remember choose your battles wisely choose your battles wisely now you got the sun there you go i mean you're good the sun the biggest yes in tarot this is all about uh you know the most powerful symbol in tarot the sun didn't you get the sun in your June? Anyway, uh, you are, you know, I mean, in Western astrology ruled by the sun. Um, this is absolutely amazing. Okay. Talk about synchronicity. This is amazing. I love the fact that you got the sun. This is all you want. All you want is abundance. All you want is to free, feel free. All you want is to, you know, uh, 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 
just not have to like worry and stress and 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 just be in this good place um and that's why i say just try to have fun this week okay now lastly the high priestess and your final outcome this is really great this is going within you're gonna have that moment i love the fact you did get the high priestess in your uh in your final outcome the high priestess really is you know she is the guardian of the subconscious and it's almost like she's preparing you and i love the fact that she came out in your final outcome and i'll tell you why because we're moving into cancer season we're moving into cancer season mid-month that's your 12th house and so there's going to be a lot of you know the 12th house is the subconscious it is uh like uh facing fears it's uh dreams it's you know uh so she is the guardian of the subconscious so she's protecting you and so she and when she comes out too she's saying go within go within trust your instincts okay you have all this deep sacred knowledge within you you've got to trust yourself when you trust your instincts like your energy flows better you make sounder judgments better decisions you're happier everything is just you know it's it's all within you i mean you do see the torah the book of law in her lap it's half failed you can even see the tree of life behind her it's really in order for any of this to happen right you need to go beyond your physical realm and into here okay so i do love that she came out in your reading but uh you're on this amazing path just have i mean just energetically just a message coming through just like just try to have fun this week please have fun this week um there's you're gonna you're this is a, a big week for you i'm not gonna lie that that balance energy is big the planning energy is big decision making is big you're moving from one it's like almost like real quickly it's like there's an ending to something but it's almost like you move into the next thing like fast um so give it give it some time to marinate and again with the five of swords uh in your future that potential for you to just get like uh like ah, could be there uh but just remember just choose your battles wisely okay i'm not gonna tell you what to do but you just i'm just gonna say it's probably a good idea to choose your battles wisely uh but if you do you got the queen of wands with the knight of cups power to attract whatever you want and you're gonna get it don't forget you got the sun you got the sun and the sun shining all those dark shadows out of your life so leo that is a loaded oh my goodness okay uh leo you're amazing thanks so much for tuning in um next week is a uh another it's a uh, wow we have that new moon in gemini mm. that is uh gonna be big so as you can see this is all leading up to it okay new moon in gemini in your 11th house the 11th house your social network groups you belong to organizations you belong to social media if that you're into that and your hopes and wishes you see how we're amping up for this new moon in gemini all right leo you're amazing thanks so much for tuning in i will see you oh my yeah well, okay if you like subscribe leave comments that would be great i honestly do love hearing from you sorry i got so excited early and i get to say it if you are a subscriber you are amazing thank you so much for being here i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you so i do uh am very grateful and i do appreciate it so i will see you next week leo bye bye